how do you use this to achieve balance in your life? I have this understanding that I'm always creating and it, I'm also very susceptible to drama with the creating. Money just goes, you know. Those people that know me are probably laughing. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, that I can materialize and that it has to be balanced with spiritual and when it's not, money just goes, you know, like, and <laughs> that happens. And then the leadership one that you said that I can be a really strong leader, but then also can have the tendency to sometimes put people down. So, I mean, all of these things are really clear understandings, but then how do I achieve balance with that knowledge? Like, how do you take it from just knowing this knowledge and then and then taking this as information to make it a tool to help empower you to, to better your life? Yes, well, like, um, like all the knowledge that we can learn from this is information that we just um, will have more conscious in our mind. So mm -hmm. for the next situation that we will have, you know, uh, for instance, now that you're like learning this and you are like thinking more about this and you have it in your mind already. And uh, next time that you receive money, you will see, oh, OK, I have the money now. Oh, I remember that I, I figured out about this. OK, what I could do, you know, just to start developing your intuition. That's what um, the numerology do, like give you the information, but then you start to develop of the intuition that will uh, bring to you more fulfilled experiences about some things that are happening because okay. um it, it, it wouldn't work if you just have the idea of oh i'm dramatic and that's the way i am and that's mm -hmm. it you know but when you say oh i'm dramatic and now i'm uh, having a episode of dramatic energy oh i remember that so i it's my choose now I can choose yeah. to go with that or I can stop it and just to see why is happening this to me and, and mm -hmm. go to the opposite. So um, it's very interesting and it's a challenge, obviously, like, uh, for instance, for me and like the relationships that I have and, and all the environment that I'm around. Sometimes I, I read this together and see, well, we will get along with this. But then we will have issues in this, you know, so <laughs> we already know <laughs> we don't get into the emotions. So balancing your life is always like a, a, a challenge. And uh, like I always say, we can't like balance everything. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button. The red one, you know, the one. Just press it. Little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Because mm -hmm. trying to balance everything will be getting control. And, you know, when we want to have control, we suffer because yeah. the controlling part is not possible. We need to let the universe move around the energy. So balancing the energy or balancing yourself and your life will mean just to flow more conscious with the situations and be like very intelligent to know what to do, how to act and how to relate with the universe. So it's kind of to like simplify it a little bit. It's understanding and preparing in a way for like, if you know that it's going to be a rainstorm out, <laughs> you may want to bring an umbrella. But to try to control it so much that not a drop of water is going to get on you would create the misery. But if you can allow yourself to prepare and say, okay, well, this is, this is what I'm swimming in. This is the energy of what is my vibration. And so I can prepare a little bit for it and understand it. But then I also have to trust that with the umbrella, might take out 90% of the water, but I might still get wet. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I love the example that you did. Thank you for sharing that because it's, it's just like that, you know, and, and it's very uh, interesting that we can have the opportunity to learn about ourselves and also why we attract people around us with some energy that it, it's always pushing us to, to change, to mm. improve, to be better in our life. And sometimes they are not the best situations, obviously, but even so, they are at the end looking for you to evolve. So um, 
I think that's the most important of this uh, knowledge of numerology. Otherwise, you just want always to control things. That's why uh, we learn things, you know, we learn to to develop uh, an idea and then we learn to play a instrument and we just want to have control of things. Yeah. But uh, at the end, if we try to control, we suffer. So we just need to learn things and let the intuition intuition guide you to just enjoy yeah. the process. Because you'll never be able to plan or control everything the way that you want it, right? You know? <laughs> never. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right, until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.